Fab just thought I'd um, just quickly run you through the head tracker. Just while well, I had it all connected, it's, uh, it's almost ready to go on the tricopter. So I'll just give you a quick rundown of how it's going to work. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just set it, reset it, and that points the camera to the front. You can see it, um, I've hooked it up to the TV. You can see I'm looking left, right, up, and down. So I'll just put the glasses on. Uh, you can see it's hooked up to the back of the Tadigi 9X. If you watched the first video, it shows you how to do that. And I'll just put these in and reset it. So, here we go. And I'll just uh, get into a good position, reset it. Okay, so basically this is, uh, whatever's on the TV screen is what I can see. Oh wow, I can see myself. Hey guys. Uh, so I can look down, have a look at the control board. Look off to the left. Look off to the right. Um, and yeah, up and around. I, I reckon this is going to be awesome. Um, I just wanted to get it all installed on the tricopter just to make sure everything worked. Um, I think uh, Thomas has actually agreed to do the first flight. Uh, so Thomas, you know, don't be scared. It's, it's going to be a piece of cake for you, the test pilot. Um, just one thing I am sort of a bit concerned about, well not concerned, but I'd, I'd like to improve, would be the travel on the server. You can see it's kind of about 45 degrees in each way and it goes a little bit more to the left than it does to the right. I haven't really seen it, but it would be nice if I could um, if I could go sort of all the way around to the left. Um, so I will look out for another servo. Um, I don't think you want to go all the way around because your wires will get tangled up, but I think it's a good thing if you could see a little bit more off to, to the other directions. So as you can see, look, there's, there's totally um, zero drift on this thing. Like you hold your head straight and it, it stays straight. It's pretty cool. You, I don't think you're going to have to use the, uh, the reset switch, but that is there. Um, the other thing I just wanted to point out is that I had a bit of a problem initially setting this up because I'm running a, a 1.2 um, system, <coughs> FPV system, and it was interfering a lot with the servos. So I've installed the, uh, the low pass filter on there and it works like a charm, there's no vibration at all. So just keep that in mind. Okay, enjoy that. And, um, See you next time, and uh, next time we'll uh, we'll show you this thing flying. Um, hopefully, with either myself or Thomas, happily Thomas. Okay, take it easy.